Hello. I'm in MoCAD. Museum of Contemporary Art, Detroit. This is where I'm doing my after craft work after party next Monday. I want the booth to actually be in that archway right there. Where they can like be apart from, you know, they're right. not running in the center or anything. Right, right, right. They're blocked off, they can sit back there and chill. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Craftwork did an interview about their tour because they're doing a U.S. tour. And they put in the interview, yeah, we're coming to Detroit. You know, we want to get with our friends and do an after hours. So I'm thinking, well, who are they friends in Detroit? You know, couldn't be nobody but myself, Derek, and Kevin. So I sent Ralph an email, and one thing led to another, and we came together. What's up, Detroit? They're here. They're turning on Campbell now. Tell Lito to get the back door. Hey, Ralph, how you doing? Hello. Yeah, fantastic job. Mic check one, two. Up next, we have the one, the only, the originator, the one they call Juan Atkins. He's the godfather of techno music. That's who Juan Atkins is. Anybody that knows anything about Detroit techno understands that Juan is one of the absolute pioneers. He's ridiculously good at mixing vinyl. Juan Atkins is probably one of the most important producers uh, of all time. Also want to send a big shout out to Kraftwerk in the house. They influence anybody in this room that's a DJ that touched the vinyl record here in Detroit. How you like Detroit again? Great. <laughs> you know Kevin, right? Yeah. What, what do you want to drink? Or? Juice, juice. Juice? Yeah. Cheers. first time they came to Detroit, I wasn't even old enough to get into the bar that they were playing at. And it was so funny because my girlfriend, my wife now, she's four months older than me, and she had just turned 18. So she was able to get in, and I couldn't get in. And so I started asking people, can I borrow your ID? And one guy actually did it for me. And so I got in using somebody else's ID. And the show was like the, the most phenomenal thing I had ever seen. When I first started, the stuff that I was doing was so organic and so like flowing that it wasn't, it didn't really have any of that preciseness. And when I heard craft work, it sounded like like computers talking. It was like, wow, I wish my stuff sounded that advanced. Craft work, one of the baddest bands ever. They, in a lot of ways, invented modern electronic music. Next to the Beatles are the most influential band in our history, and I think a lot of people in America don't really fully understand that. They were back in the shop, you know, working with transistors and making noises. They actually invented a lot of their own instruments. They're like the fathers of synthesis. They even saw the great IA track. Have to give it up to Kraftwerk. The reason why we're all here. When my boys were young, I fed them on Kraftwerk music. Germany, Berlin in particular, has always uh, embraced Detroit. The landscape of the cities were real post-industrial, kind of cold and gray and bleak sometimes. You know? It was almost like sister cities. And it was something about that atmosphere that they could relate to the music. So they, they really have a real love for Detroit. Once again, let's give it up for Juan Atkins, the originator of Detroit Techno. Just want to take a second to have Detroit show their appreciation for craft work. Without them, this whole genre we call techno may not have ever been.
They influence each and every DJ that's ever touched a vinyl record in Detroit. From Juan Atkins to Derek May to Kevin Saunderson to Eddie Folks. All of the originators. Can we get craft work up on the stage with Juan? This is how Detroit shows love to craft work. Detroit. 